Okay, I'm starting a project. This is the first uh, test optica machine that was built by Paul Bowman. And um, this is a drawing of how I'm going to do it. This is the top view. And this is the uh, front view. I think it's very important because it verifies the size of the uh, of the piece that I'm building because you can see here Lucy's hand uh, next to the pot so that tells me approximately how big uh, that pot is or that that piece it's really not that big at all so that's why I'm assuming that this is the correct size not to mention that I also uh, went by the size listed in the reports using centimeters. So the overall size of the base is uh, going to be two centimeters high by seven centimeters deep and 22 centimeters wide. Um, and then the post I'm um, assuming it's going to be 3.5 centimeters uh, could be 4 centimeters I don't think that really matters and the magnet itself is going to be 7 centimeters tall and uh, 4 centimeters wide and then 2.5 centimeters deep and was made of only waste material such as chocolate wrappers and I'm thinking the chocolate wrappers is going to be the aluminum foil inside the pots. Uh, plastic containers should also be inside the, the pots. And uh, nails and copper wire. I'm thinking the copper wire is going to be inside the pots. Uh, like a copper spiral maybe. Uh, the nails uh, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, this part right here. And I've designed this so that I can use this particular nail, which would fit right here and would fit inside the groove. I am thinking that these are the, uh, uh, the half or the quarter circular shape here ha is built where you have a, a a flat piece with these two pieces on top these circular pieces on top of this flat circular piece and I say that because in the video I don't know if you can see it in mine but you can clearly see that there is a separate bottom piece and then there's two of these pieces put on top this is a project that I'm doing. It's the uh, little test optica arm machine. This is a photo of it. Of uh, not the original. It's like a remake. And it's not not finished yet. And I got some parts here that I'm going to use in reconstructing it. So I got horseshoe magnet uh, with aluminum foil around it. And uh, got some nails, some little um, small nails here for the to pin that goes into the groove area from the arm part. And then this is basically a door hinge with a I don't know if this is going to work, but. And then I got a ball bearing on it and um, some blocks of wood. These blocks of wood I got from Michaels. They're used for wood carving blocks. Uh, this would be for the base. It's a little bit thicker than what the base, what the base is supposed to be, but uh, I figure I'll use it. I don't think it's going to matter that it's so thick. At least it won't tip over. 
and I'll have to cut these to size. And then this one I'm going to use for the post in the middle, and uh, I'm going to cut it down to where I need it. Um, I got these because they're really already cut to the shape I I want. Um, and then this I got here at Ace Hardware and it's like three fourths inch square top is red that's how they label it and I got some copper foil tubes that I made for I uh, use those with these clear plastic uh, plexiglass containers for the pots and I have some aluminum it's not aluminum foil, it's actually a little bit thicker. Okay, I'm using just a simple miter saw to cut these blocks to the proper size. Okay, the idea now, for the next step, I got the wood blocks cut to the size it's supposed to be cut to. Uh, I'm going to drill a hole up here on the top and the bearing is going to fit inside of that hole and then I'm going to drill a hole inside the little arm lever piece and this I want to fit in the lever piece uh, very tight I want to fit tightly so that it won't move I'll probably glue it on there actually and the ball bearing part will be inside of the wood and then it should turn freely. Now I have enough of this sticking up. I'll probably cut this down. It won't be as long as it is now. But I have enough sticking up so that I can adjust this, the height. And I'll be using these washers, which do fit snugly over, very snug over this. Okay, I have uh, put together the uh, frame or the wood construction part of the uh, of the device and you can see here